I want to talk about how you value a bond. Bonds are quite easy to value using the present value tools we've learned in uh, previous chapters. Now bonds are easy because the payments are fixed. Any interest payments are, are, don't change. When the bond matures is known and the amount you get when the bond matures is also known. So it's a simple present value problem. Now, the easiest type of bond to, to value is what's referred to as a zero coupon bond. In a zero coupon bond, there are no explicit interest payments. Coupons are what we are the term we use to refer to the interest payments because in the old days, you used to receive a coupon book and when the interest was due, you would tear out the coupon, take it to the bank, and you would receive your interest payment. In a zero coupon bond, you pay a price below the maturity or par value, and the price you pay, the difference between what you receive when the bond matures and what you pay is essentially your interest. So in a zero coupon bond, we simply have the present value of a lump sum, so it's very easy to value. So in this case, the price of the bond equals the maturity value divided by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the nth power where n is the number of periods um, until the bond matures. Now we could do this quarterly or we could, I'm sorry, we could do this semi-annually or we could do this annually. I'm going to assume that 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 any interest payments or any compounding is annual. Makes the calculation a little simpler at the end of the uh, this tutorial, perhaps I'll do a semi-annual example as well. So let's say, for example, the maturity value is one thousand dollars, and the interest rate is eight percent. And let's say that the bond matures in fifteen years. Well, then the price of the bond is just the present value of the thousand dollars. Okay, it's just a lump sum present value, one thousand divided by one point oh eight raised to the fifteenth power, and we can work that out. One point oh eight raise it to the fifteenth power. Okay, so that's this number. We need to flip it over so we hit the one over x key and then we multiply it by the thousand and it's three hundred and fifteen dollars and twenty four cents so if you pay three hundred and fifteen dollars and twenty four cents for something that gives you back a thousand dollars fifteen years from now you'll have earned an eight percent return now let's look at the more complicated case where we have a coupon bond. In the case of the coupon bond, you have these interest payments, which we said are, are called coupons. So one term we use is something called the coupon rate. The coupon rate is the percentage of the maturity value that you receive in interest. And that interest is received each year. Now again, most bonds pay interest semi-annually, so if we figure out that you would receive a hundred dollars a year, that would be fifty dollars every six months. And then it's again, it's just a present value problem. So again, let's say the maturity value is one thousand. Let's say the coupon rate is equal to six percent and we'll use the same interest rate we had before of eight percent well if it's a six percent coupon rate that means that your coupon or your interest payment is going to be equal to 0 0.06 times one thousand which is equal to sixty dollars so you re receive sixty dollars a year in interest if we were talking about semi-annual compounding you would get thirty dollars a year all right, so we just have a present value equation here. Price of the bond equals 
sixty dollars times. I'm sorry, I didn't tell us how long the bond until the bond matures. Let's say the bond matures in five years. So it would be one point zero eight. Sixty divided by one point zero eight plus sixty divided by one point zero eight squared plus dot 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 all the way out to year five one point zero eight to the fifth power plus you get back the maturity value of one thousand and that's also going to be discounted by one point zero eight to the fifth power now one thing we can note is this part here is an annuity so rather than have to calculate each part separately we can use our annuity formula and so if we wanted to calculate it using the formulas we would get 60 and the annuity formula is 1 minus the uh, present value factor which would be 1.08 raised to the fifth power divided by 0.08 okay plus 1000 divided by 1.08 to the fifth power so let's see if we can work that out here 1.08 raised to the fifth power is 1.469 but we want one over that so again hit the one over x key to flip it over change the sign add it to one so that we have one minus this and let's divide it by 0 0.08 so we get 3.9927 times the sixty dollars and so we get two hundred and thirty nine dollars and fifty six cents plus the present value of the thousand dollars here so let's see we get one point zero eight raised to the fifth power again flip it over multiply it by a thousand and we get six eighty fifty eight And let's just add those two together plus the two thirty nine fifty six and we get nine twenty fourteen. And let's see, does that make sense? Well the coupon rate six percent is lower than the interest rate. The interest rate has gone up so the bond price should be below the par or maturity value so that seems reasonable we can also solve this using our financial calculator we know that oh, let me clear the time value of money workspace we know that the bond matures in five years we have an eight percent interest rate the coupon is sixty dollars and the future value or the par value maturity value is the future value that's a thousand and let's compute the present value 92014 so worked perfectly all right let me finish up by doing a semi-annual case and let's do the same example but let's do it with semi-annual coupons so in this case we have to cut everything in half sixty dollars per year is going to mean thirty dollars every six months we're also going to have to change the interest rate so now instead of having r equals eight percent per year we're going to have the interest rate is four percent every six months and again it's just another present value equation we should get 
a price that's close to 92014, but not exactly. And our equation is going to look like this. Price of the bond equals 30 divided by 1.04 plus 30 divided by 1.04 squared plus 30 divided by 1.04 and remember now instead of having five years we have 10 six-month periods so this is going to be 10 all right so don't forget to do that and the final cash flow is the thousand divided by 1.04 to the tenth power so again we could use the annuity formula to value this and then the present value formula to do this let's just use the calculator here I'm going to clear my workspace we know that the number of six month periods is 10 right two times the uh, five years the interest rate is four percent the coupon is 30 and the maturity value is a thousand and if we compute the price we get 918.89 so pretty close a little bit different but pretty close to the 92014 we had before and that's the way you do it semi-annually